Hello, my friends, on this wonderful Monday morning. In other countries, people are going to work on this Monday, but here in Ireland, we have a bank holiday Monday, which is good news because I can stay at home. My company, the company I work in, is a relatively small family-run business, and we have no problems shutting the factory down for an additional day per month during the summer months because uh, we don't have such a tight production schedule and anything what we might be falling back upon will be caught up during the week, you know, during the four weeks to come before the next bank holiday occurs, you know. And uh, good news, I can stay at home, I can do a little bit more in terms of running my English Harmony business and making these videos and uh, it's actually very useful because today I have to dedicate a little bit more time to practicing my English because I have to utilize all 12 American phrases I've acquired so far as part of the 50 American Phrase Acquisition Mission and that's the purpose of this video and uh, here you can see the Fluency Gym Coach program activity sheet daily activity sheet to be more specific and uh, my customers Fluency Gym Coach program customers are quite familiar with this sheet but for you guys who don't know what it is I'll just brief you it's a sheet where you put down all the phrases key phrases for your daily practice sessions for your spoken practice sessions and to help you organize the self practice session better you have subtopics to the main topic of the spoken practice session because if you don't have a structure if you don't have a clear structure to the self practice session is going to be very difficult to be honest it'll be almost impossible to have a normal monologue if you just have a bunch of phrases you have to use but there's no clear structure you don't really know what you're talking about then you'll find it very hard to implement this uh, whole self practice technique you know so what I've done here is I've chosen the main topic which is visiting my friend at a prison and the subtopics is how my friend got jail how I organized my visit to see the friend and then actually I will describe my trip to the prison my conversation with a friend and how I got back from the prison basically the way out from the prison facilities and uh, I've separated all 12 phrases in five different sections and this has just helped me to use them all up, you know, as I go along and uh, let the self-practice session begin. So basically I'll just uh, prove to you that I can use these phrases in a live conversation, all those 12 phrases. And uh, enough said, let's start the conversation. So basically this thing, my friend at prison. Needless to say, my friend got in a jail. We all saw it coming, but we didn't thing that it was gonna happen so quickly but it had wrong written all over it from the very get-go my dear friend because my friend was mixing with the wrong people and uh, this particular crime that was committed actually was committed by some of his friends and my friend had been in the right when he stood in front of the jury and explained that he wasn't actually involved that he had been at home while this crime was actually being perpetrated but nobody listened to him and uh, long story short he got thrown into a jail and then I wanted obviously to visit him in jail and this is how I organized my visit I knew that one of the prison guards really got a thing for a very specific type of food which was hard to come by and I happened to work in a big massive warehouse where that food is actually stored so I organized a shipment to his address to his house and I brought him a, an awful lot of that particular food and it will last him for a couple of years to say the least you know I knew for a fact that it was actually a long shot because organizing a visit with a convicted criminal where there is murder involved is uh, almost impossible the chances of that happen are next to none and it was definitely a long shot but nonetheless I I was lucky enough for that prison guard to be really into that type of food so he 
rang me in a couple days and told me that I could drop by and have a five minute conversation with my friend. Okay, that was good news. And on the day, I just got up, took a shower, dressed up and headed down to the prison. And the prison was just 10 minutes walking distance from my home so I didn't actually have to drive or take any public transport I just walked to the prison and the prison facilities were huge it was a massive building and the whole site was ringed with chain link and topped with razor wire just like you see prisons depicted in American films TV series and programs and so on and so forth and uh, the whole feeling was almost but not quite the same as in films because as you can imagine Film settings are somewhat different from reality. You know, in films they have to depict things a certain way to please the audience and to make make it uh, realistic to actually shoot a film. But in reality, the surroundings were quite dingy, and I had an uneasy feeling while approaching the prison gates. And uh, needless to say, the whole setting just spelled trouble. You know, because the closer I got to the prison entrance the more everything within me literally screamed against going into that facility because I didn't want to be associated with that kind of an environment. Never, ever. But anyway, I had to see my friends, so I really had no choice. I had to go with the flow. And then, long story short, I ended up right in front of my friend who is sitting on the other side of the glass wall, all zoned out and listening to iPod. And I was thinking to myself, how the hell he got hold of an iPod in a prison, for Christ's sakes. He must really have some good connections. And then I picked up the phone, the intercom, and I said to him, Hi, Johnny, how are you getting on? And then he was like, say what? You see, he hadn't switched his intercom on, so basically he couldn't hear what I, I'm saying, you know. But anyway, we had a nice conversation, and then he said that he was going to call out on his friends because he had proof that he hadn't been involved in that uh, crime and he got privy to some more information while he was in prison which would see him walk away free from the imprisonment so basically he was prepared to call out on his friends based on some intelligence information but it was very very risky for my friend for his health well-being and even life to say the least but anyway it was up to him to decide his future so I didn't really want to spend more time in the prison I said goodbye to him and walked out and then on the way out some big guy bumped into me and he says you got beef with me and I was like no problem no problem big man I'm out of here and then I just literally ran away from there because I just couldn't stand that environment all these big tattooed guys jostling in the crowd you know I was not up for it you know what I mean I didn't have enough guts to handle that kind of situation you know no matter how tough I am in real life you know I can go to pubs and uh, participate in bar brawls and things like that and I have no problem but in prison I wouldn't last a day my friends so tell you what stay away from that environment and uh, I think that's the best advice I can give to you and to everybody else after my experience in the prison and of course it was totally made up it was purely fictional I was just trying to use up these phrases to make sure that they are imprinted into my mind and that I can use these phrases comfortably you know and on the finishing note let me tell you a couple things first of all when you learn such and similar phrases they're not guaranteed to stay in your memory in the sense that you can actually think of them all immediately as you want them, you know. You will forget these phrases. I will learn 50 of them. So there's no way that I will always able to actually recall all 50 phrases and say, for instance, use them all up in a single go, in a single conversation. It's just not going to happen. What is going to happen, though, is when I need this or that particular phrase, it'll just come out of my mouth by itself. Because by now, I've been speaking an awful lot. 
using each individual phrase. Each phrase has been repeated, memorized and repeated once more for a good few times. That way making sure that it imprints into my mind and in my mouth. You know, there's a muscle mind connection created. So even though in a month's time I might have forgotten this or that phrase, say for instance, almost but not quite, if you ask me which was the seventh, for instance, phrase in this mission, I wouldn't probably have a clue. But when I encounter a situation where that phrase would be very fitting, my brain will most likely automatically use it up. It'll just push it out of my mouth. You know, it'll just come out by itself. That's how this phrase acquisition happens. That's how it works. And basically, so far, I've learned 12 phrases. And I hope that you're learning all these phrases with me. And of course, you're okay, you're totally fine to set your own goals, acquire your own phraseology, and you're also welcome to check out the Fluency Gym Coach program, which is the framework based on which I'm actually setting this goal. And there's a whole lot more to the Fluency Gym Coach program. You will motivate yourself, basically I will motivate you through all those videos I recorded there and you will truly understand what real fluency is all about, how it works and Fluency Gym Coach program is the ideal way of staying on the top of your motivation and confidence and being fluent at all times. But of course, if you use the English Harmony speech exercising lessons, all this work of sourcing the phrases will be spared because I've done all the hard work for you and it's literally packed with phrases. Each lesson contains 15 different phrases and over the course of six months you'll actually learn 1350 phrases. So it's jam-packed with all this phraseology. So you have to decide which one you want to go for in the Chamonix system where you'll acquire an awful lot of phrases or the Fluency Gym Coach program in case your phraseology, your vocabulary is already good but you just want to motivate yourself, you just need to acquire that edge of confidence if that's your main issue then you may want to walk into the Fluency Gym Coach program. Okay my friends, thanks for watching and see you soon again!